Good evening. Hello, I am Jarvis made by Junior Programmer. Please tell me how can I help you, your IP address is 106.193.196.105. Open YouTube. Sir, what should I search on YouTube? Justin Bieber. Like a bell cut. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tane from Junior Programmer and in this video what I am bringing you is Jarvis AI. Now first let's explain what Jarvis is. So Jarvis is like an AI to which you can give commands such as Alexa, Siri and Microsoft Google, Assist uh, Google Assistant um, and Microsoft Cortona. So you could just simply say some commands to um, to the to the computer and it will it will do these things based on uh, based on what you command uh, what you said to it um, you'll simply speak and it will perform the function just as you could do in apple apple siri um, google assistant and so on so first of all let me open the file also um, to let you know that i have given the link in the description so you can go to my github and can download it and can make your own um, Jarvis AI and also I'll be also giving intervals in the video should, so you can navigate to it. So first of all let me open the file. So in this um, tutorial in the Python we'll be using these modules um, PyT, PYTTSX3, Speech Recognition, Datetime, OS, CV2, Request, Wikipedia, Web Browser, SMTP, Lib and Sys. So first of all these two um, modules are used for sp um, speech recognition or recognizing audio and converting it into text. So we'll use it to convert the audio to the text and give the command to the computer. Then date time, um, OS and then CV2 is OpenCV, some of methods within this code. Then we'll use request to access the internet and open the websites that we'll code in this. Uh, we'll also use Wikipedia, web browser, SMTP lib, SMTP lib to send emails and so on and then says. So these are the modules. Okay, so you could also install Pi Audio. Now if you have any trouble installing Pi Audio, what you could do is first of all um, go into the command prompt and install PyWin and then using the command pip install PyWin. Then you could do pip install Pi Audio and it will work. Okay, so moving on to the code. So first of all what we'll do is using the PYTTSX3. This is basically the Pi from audio to text. So whatever you'll say is converted into text and given to the com. So first of all we'll initialize it giving the object name engine and then we are simply giving getting some properties and giving the voice to our Jarvis AI. You'll listen to it once I um, run the code at the end. So this is the voice of Jarvis in which it will communicate with us. So first of all I'll define a function named speak which takes an argument audio. So this is what the engine will have to say what the Jarvis will have to say. So we'll use it in the code afterwards. So it's just like whenever I say something it will have to tell me okay I've listened it and so on these kind of things such as this when I say something it will say listening so this is the audio so it will speak so simply what we are doing is um, using this object um, that we have created we are simply um, telling it to say the say that thing so there's one thing I would want you to know that um, you should have good microphone because if you do not have a good microphone um, the voice will not be recognized when you give any command so it will cause errors and might not be able to do the tasks properly so having a good microphone for this is um, recommended so moving on we have another function named take command so from the name um, what it does is uh, it takes command from the user whatever i'm speaking it will take it in the command and will perform the function so for this we are using the recognizer the speech the speech recognizer speech recognition library this uses the google api this is the google um, speech recognition api it uses that one so it simply senses that the user had sem said something there is something in the form of audio so using that um, simply using the sr dot microphone as source first of all it will print listen and then we pause for one second and then using this line r dot listen we simply listen to whatever is said into the microphone so this is how we'll give the command and after that um, it will just ask us to wait a moment and then um, it will have to recognize the command so here are some the parameters that we have to give we have told it that the language will be in English and this is the audio that we have given it so 
that this will make a query that the computer can read afterwards and then it will simply repeat what I said for example if I said open Instagram it will simply repeat you said open Instagram so I'll know that the command is right so again now if there's an, if there's an error it will simply say will you repeat that please so that is it and it will return the query this function returns the query so another function wish now this will be executed in the start of the program so it is simply just like wishing good morning sir good afternoon good, good evening and so on so it simply takes the time and a time date and so on from your computer and sees if it is morning it is evening or it is um, afternoon and according to that according to that it um, greets you so another function send email it has two um, arguments to and content two is the one to whom we are sending the um, email and the content is the content of the email so first of all using this mtp lib we have to create the um, we have to some do some initialization so mine is at gmail.com so i'll use that one if yours is at some other um, <coughs> if you're using some other service for example microsoft or yahoo you'll have to use that one you can get this from google easily now simply just um, setting the um, object and setting some properties so here um, using the server the object will log in so here you'll enter your email address haven't written mine so you'll simply enter your email address and here will enter your password and after that um, here is your email ID again um, when we're sending the email this will take the two to whom we're sending and the content and simply will send the email so these are the things um, this thing the email address and password you'll have to change when you download it this will be your email ID and password now let's move to the main thing um, so First of all, um, wish, it will be used to wish the user as I've told you. Now the, now moving on, we've used a loop. So while true, this will keep on running. So first of all, um, it takes command in lower. Now lower means that um, it takes the command in lower case. And you, <coughs> so whatever we have to use in command later on, for example, this open studio is the name of the command so we'll have to write here in lowercase we can do uppercase and lowercase mixed or uppercase so because it will show an error so again open notepad open cmd all of the things commands are written in lowercase so you'll have to um, look onto this so the first command is open obvious studio so open studio will be spoken by the user um, and then this query will be performed so if i say open studio um, <coughs> um, if I say open studio this means that first of all it will take the command what I have done and save it in the query using this function that I have explained before and then if the in the query it will sense that whatever that I spoke this and when and then convert it into a text and the text will be open studio so it will return this and then if the in the within the query it returns open studio then it will simply navigate to the path of this um, exe file um, and then simply start file using the os start file method so here is the path of the file um, that um, will be executed so you need to make sure that you use these two uh, two backward slashes to avoid any problems or use one forward slash it is better to use these two because it is more of a convention so moving on similarly we can use the command open notepad so again we are giving the path where the executable file of notepad is um, using the complete path and then simply start file using the os.start file method we are opening the file again similarly um, we are opening the command prompt um, this time we are using the os.system method to start the command prompt now we could also do this for the visual studio so this is the command open visual studio code and again the complete path and start file so what you can do is that you can change the command to yourselves for example i have written open cmd you could also do open command prompt um, and then execute this so this is all up to you whatever you find convenient now play music um, this is the command so what it will do is that 
I am navigate to this directory where you have music. So you will have to enter this beforehand. When you code, you have to enter the location of the folder where your songs are. So here which I have highlighted will be the location of the songs. Um, of the folder of the songs then it will go within this folder and list all the songs and start playing them one by one you could also search your IP um, using what is my IP address and again in this one what I've done is using the HTTP uh, module uh, I've just gone to this website in this website you could simply um, see the IP so what I've done is go to this website and get your IP address and we could also I've also included the function of Wikipedia search so open Wikipedia uh, it will search Wikipedia and then moving on whatever we will um, we'll say it will search in Wikipedia and then speak the results to us um, I, we could also open YouTube and other, and other and other websites so when, when you open YouTube the first thing it will ask is to what to search on YouTube and you could also give it um, whatever you want to search so when you say open YouTube it will ask sir what I sh uh, what should I search on YouTube and it will ask and you could give in whatever you want to search and in this case we're using the web browser library so similarly with the Facebook um, we're using the web browser library and navigating to facebook.com um, we could go to many websites for example Stack Overflow um, Google again here opening the Google and then the Chavez is asking uh, but to search on Google and similarly whenever we have to take an input uh, from us we have to use this take command so but that is how I've done here again using um, the same the same concept we are using um, we are opening the Instagram now emails now the email is also pretty much similar to it first of all when you say email it will ask you what should I say um, so here it will record the content whatever you want to write in the email and then um, this is the two to whom you want to send the email you could also um, program it you could also hard code it beforehand or you could also use again another take command and give a, give the email but that will be a little more problem for now so I've just written it beforehand and then simply send email using the function that we have defined before now if if there's an error sending an email it will simply get the exception and print whatever the error is and then if there's an error and it cannot um, understand any command or we have given it any command other than those that we have defined in this code um, it will simply exit and after that we'll say thank you it will say thank you for using me and just greet you or say a goodbye so this is how you make a Jarvis now I'll show you a um, running running the python code and show you uh, this its exam okay so let's run it to show how it works good evening hello i am jarvis made by junior programmer please tell me how can i help you open cmd Open Notepad. What is my IP address? Your IP address is 106.193.196.105. Open YouTube. Sir, what should I search on YouTube? Justin Bieber. Open Instagram. Thank you. Thanks for using me. Have a good day. So this is how you could use different commands that I've used. I hope you like this video and you like this project if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and you can go on to look more videos and give it a like so I can keep on making more content like this thank you